facilitating people to invest. Investments as a index funds. Bitcoin. 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 Investment. So you might have heard in the news in the past couple of years about Bitcoin prices blowing up or you've heard that if you had invested in stocks like Tesla, Netflix or Amazon, you would have probably been a millionaire by now. But let me tell you something, with investment it's never too late, yeah, especially with the market prices we're having right now. But we're going to talk about that in a different video. The thing is that we hear lots of people talking about investing their money, whether in stocks or in crypto, but for the rest of us out there, the term of investing itself, it's still a little bit too vague. Or is it just me? So what does it really mean to invest and what are the different types of investment? How can I buy stocks or crypto and which of them is even better? How much money can I make? And of course, let's not forget that one person who we all have who whenever the topic of investing comes up, they'd be like, eh, it's just money down the drain. So today we're gonna make it as simple as possible. We're gonna break down the basic types of investment and hopefully you will smash the like button and subscribe to my channel because I've put a lot of effort into making this video and I'm also going to talk about a lot of hot topics in the next ones as well. Now that you have subscribed, let's dive into the video. Today's video is brought to you by absolutely no one, still no sponsors. Subscribe so we can get faster. What is investing? According to a Forbes article written by Benjamin Curry, investing is the process of buying assets that increase in value over time and provide returns in the form of income payments or capital gain. So how does investing work? Investing works when you buy an asset at a low price and then sell it for a higher price or when that asset increases in value between when you buy and when you sell. This kind of return on your investment is called capital gain or appreciation. A share of stock can appreciate, for example, if a company creates a hot new product that boosts their sales and raises the stock's value on the market. Cryptocurrency could also increase in value when the demand for that currency goes up. In addition to profits from capital gain or appreciation, there's also dividend investing, where instead of realizing capital gains by buying assets, the goal is to buy assets that automatically generate cash flow over time. All you have to do is hold on to those assets without even selling. So the goal here is not to simply make more money by selling, the goal is to make your money do more. In his famous book, The Intelligent Investor, Benjamin Graham says, Investing is a unique kind of casino, one where you cannot lose the end so long as you play by the rules that put the odds squarely in your favor. Now that we know what investing means, let's talk about the basic types of investment. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is bonds. So a bond is basically a loan that you give to a company or a government even at small amounts. And by issuing a bond, a company or a government basically borrows money from investors who at the end will have an interest on the money they have loaned. And the reason they do this is to fund new projects and ongoing expenses. So you know how when you apply for a credit from a bank and then you'd have to pay them back plus an extremely big amount of interest? It's basically the same thing. However, you will be the one receiving the interest because you have loaned the company money. Now let's talk about the next type of investment, which is stocks. Finally, so companies want to raise money to fund their operations by selling shares of stock. When companies sell stocks, they're basically inviting investors to buy fractional ownership interests in their company, making them part owners. When you buy at least one stock from a company, you become a shareholder. And depending on the shares you have bought, you might also have a claim to a part of its assets and earnings as well. In other words, a shareholder is now an owner of a smaller piece of the company. Ownership, on the other hand, is determined by the number of shares an investor has relative to the outstanding amount of shares. So, for example, if a company has a total of 1,000 outstanding shares and then an investor buys 100 of those shares, that person will have claim to 10% of that company's assets or earnings. For example, a current Netflix stock price is listed on the market for $180 by the time I am filming this video. Tesla, on the other hand, is at $628. Now let's talk about our third type of investment for today, which is index funds. An index fund is a portfolio of stocks and bonds designed to mimic the performance and composition of a financial market index. What? So we have talked about stocks and how it means that you buy shares in a specific company. Now imagine you have invested all of your money in one company and then a specific someone decides to post a tweet about it, leading its stock price to significantly drop. Mm -hmm. 
then you will lose so much of the money you have invested. Now imagine instead of investing your savings in just the one company, you invest the exact same amount, however, on a lot of companies instead, where if one of them has a stock price drop, there's a high chance the rest of them will be doing well. So the idea here is that the companies you will invest in will balance each other up. With that, index funds can help balance the risk in an investor's portfolio as market swings tend to be less volatile across an index compared with individual stocks. It's hands off and you can build a diversified portfolio earning you solid returns. So as I said, index funds seek to match the risk and return of the market based on the theory that in the long term, the market will outperform any single investment. An example of index funds is the most commonly known S&P 500, which tracks the performance of the largest 500 companies listed on stock exchanges in the United States. Now let's move into our last type of investment which is cryptocurrencies. A cryptocurrency is simply a digital or a virtual currency that for its own security uses a practice called cryptography. A cryptocurrency works the same way as any other normal currency like the US dollar or the euro. Non-pegged cryptocurrencies however like Bitcoin or Ethereum are very very volatile and crypto prices in general change all the time based on so many factors like liquidity or reputation. So that was pretty much it for today's video. Please don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe to my channel.